Well, hello again, everybody. We are here in Empris du Lion Saladin Keep in our playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. We just captured this keep from the Red Templars. It's pretty exciting stuff. Looks like this keep needs some work. I hear a shard. That's weird. There's a shard here. Is this, uh... Oh, this is the shard that's on my map. Here it is, right here, all this time, looking for this shard. And it's standing right there. I kind of stumble upon it accidentally. How exciting is that? Well, I'll just go ahead and take that for myself. Six of 13 shards found in the Empire. It's a hell of a view. It's a hell of a view. Why don't you guys leave me alone? Why are you following me around? Oh, wait, you're my party. That's right. Loot. 239 gold, engraved longbow grip, battle mage armor, belt of spirit resistance. Oh, wait, that's all blocked up. I don't know. So, that looks like there's a new quest here. Baron Edouard Desjardins. Desjardins. Let's go talk to him and see what he has to say. What's up, dude? Your worship. What? Make her watch over your Excuse me? You just go walking away from me like that? I am the Inquisitor. Keeping busy, Inquisitor? I'm trying. <laughs> you know Josephine well. What kind of question is that? You seem to know Josephine quite well. Oh, yes. Yves Montillier. Josephine's father is an old friend. We used to hunt together. I watched her grow up, you know. Such a clever girl. <laughs> she could charm wolves to dance with hares. I am gratified to see the Inquisition has not overlooked her talents. Hmm. What are your duties here, dude? What is your role here, Baron? Oh, well. The Ambassador entrusted me with handling the Inquisition's enterprise in the Dale. Much of our efforts are concentrated on rebuilding, eradicating threats, reopening trade routes, and such. And of course, I will oversee the forging of relations with the nobles of Southern Orlais. So what's going on? Any news, Baron? Judicale's crossing has been rebuilt, thanks to our combined efforts. Hmm. Scouts have spotted a dragon flying through the hills. If this is a high dragon ready to spawn, there is reason for concern. What else is going on? Any news, Baron? We plan to push into the region to make it safe for trade and travel. What else? Any news, Baron? By request of the people of Sarnia, Mistress Poulin, town elder, has been delivered to Skyhold to await justice. Yeah, that's old news. I already did that. What else you got? Any news, Baron? All is well, you well, that's good to hear. Thanks for talking to me. I shall take my leave. Ooh, breeding ground. Slay the Highland Ravager. Slay the Calton something or other. Oh, I'm supposed to secure some towers. Oh, wow. Look at all this new stuff that's opened up here. Let's read this, see what it says. Trading with Kalsh Rock. My approach was carefully observed. This was not a taig unused to watching its boundaries. I got the impression that if I'd been one of his Orzammar cousins, our meeting would have been swift and bloody. That is, if I'd been allowed to find the passage at all. As it was, he was polite and efficient, and he knew well the current market for everything he offered. Clearly their isolation is not because of fear, and certainly not disinterest. Among his wares, I saw the latest fabrics of Al Royo and volumes by the free marcher poet Three Centuries Dead. This only added to my doubt of the official year of Cal Chirac's rediscovery is declared by the Assembly of Orzammar. I didn't mention this to my host. As curious as I was, there was an undercurrent I found unsettling. I must stress that he and his helpers were professional and honest throughout, but there was something I can't describe. While he remained hooded the entire time, he looked me square in the eye when our deal was struck, unashamed. I lived through the time of blight. I felt the gaze of a Grey Warden and seen the corruption of his prey. Why I remembered both in that moment, I still can't explain. On meeting Novus Sturhold in Kalsharok, excerpted from the journals of Sir Evrain Abernach, noble merchant scholar. Alright. Kind of strange. Anything over here? Well, oh, the chests. Did I look in this chest? I don't think I did. There's a chest sitting there. Just a big tease. Be well. Be well indeed. Well, um, let's see here. 
Let's uh, make sure everybody's all potioned up. Uh, I need some bees, so let's help ourselves to some bees. Uh, who's running with me right now? I don't even know. Sarah, Blackwall, and Vivienne. Why does this still show up as a new quest? Uh, let's see. Sarah needs regen, bees. Blackwall needs regen. I mean, there goes my elf root. It is impossible to keep elf root on hand. I'll tell you what. Uh, Cole is not with me. Vivienne. Holy cow, Vivienne. I'm going to use up all of my elf root. There it goes. There goes my elf root. Now I've only got seven left. Any requisitions over here? Oh, here's one. Let's turn this one in. Awesome. Okay. So does that mean there's a new one here for me now? Where is the requisition officer around here anyway? Is there one that runs around here? I don't know. I haven't seen one. Hmm. Why does he still show up as a as a quest? Fine day, is it not? What's going on? Any news, Baron? Our operations seem to be going smoothly, Inquisitor. Okie dokie. I shall take my leave. Did I go back here? I think I did. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, this is where I raised the flag. <clears throat> okay, so what are we to do? There's a little merchant down here now. I guess let's just go take a look at the merchant and see what they have for sale. Just, just in case they have anything cool. Why not? Who's this guy? Kind of creeping me out, just standing there like that. It's weird. Let's see if they're selling anything cool here. Let's see. What do you need? Oh, uh, <clears throat> okay. Longbow staff. What kind of staff is this? Electricity damage. Oh, well, these are. Oh, well, these are. Okay, a longbow. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Holy cow. Ooh, it has a demon slaying rune in it. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Uh, Car's level 18. I'm only level 16. I have to keep an eye on that. Uh, electricity damage. Just, oh, that's a longbow. What's this thing? Dagger. Staff. Electricity damage. Electricity damage. Alright, there's some there's some cool stuff here. Hmm, wow, yeah. Holy cow, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, no armor, accessories, some upgrades. Whoa. A lot of upgrades. Huh. Uh, blank runestones. So some weapons schematics. Super cleansing rune. A twainer, whatever that is. Wow. Alright, well, that's some pretty cool stuff here. Actually, do I have any valuables I need to sell? Eh, not really. Alright. Nothing good there. So, still don't know what's up with this locked door here. I still don't think there is a locked door there. I think the game's full of it. Um, this is the rift that kicked our butt at one point. This is new. Oh, okay. Let's go back here and talk to uh, M. Shell. Let's or Michelle about M. Shell. Let's go back here and do that real quick. Nothing to report, sir. Uh, let's see. He is over here. So let's head in that direction. Yeah, it looks like he might be back in the same spot he was when we very first met him. Yeah, there he is. What's up, dude? Now that I did all your work for you, I kill him, Shale. Uh, let's see. I killed him, Shale. It's done. The demon is dead. It is finally over. I wish I could have heard him scream, but Sanya is safe. It is a good day. Mm -hmm. Now I find myself free to choose a new direction. 
I will be honored to serve the Inquisition, if it will have me. The Inquisition welcomes you, Michel de Chavannes. I shall return to your outpost to await further instruction. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, now we have to do this business. I think it's funny that they have a cutscene for this. Okay, power plus two. Awesome. Aren't you supposed to go back to the, uh, the skyhold? No sign of trouble at the moment. Alright, we already asked him all this stuff. Okay, leave. I will take my leave. Agent acquired. That's pretty cool. Agent acquired. Don't we get uh, perks for acquiring agents? Did it say perk and I missed it? It may have. I may have just missed it. It's weird that that's staying up there. Now what? Now what? We've got all kinds of crap over here. Look at all this stuff. What the hell? These are those uh, breeding grounds. Oh, good grief. Oh, man. Hmm, I don't know if I want to go do that right now or not. I kind of want to go back and maybe continue a little bit with the um, main story, the main game mission before I tackle all this stuff. Just because it's been a while. So, um, let's go back to Skyhold. And of course, the first thing we do when we are in Skyhold is check on our War Council. So we'll run up here and do this real quick. Make sure that they're all busy. Inquisitor. Mm, let's see, what's up with her current quest? Somewhat fallen fortune. Speak with Count. Oh, we need to go to Valrayo for this. And arrange a favor for Judge Ald at the war, ta war table. Okay, we need to go do that stuff. No perks. All right, fine. Uh, okay, nothing over here. Okay, we've got... Oh, gosh, look at all this stuff that showed up. Oh, wait a minute, how did I miss that? Anyway, Red Jetty and the Bad Goods, the caravan we misled into the mountains, surrendered after their food ran out. Their supplies of weapons and armor were ill-suited to survival. While their intended benefactors remain unknown, we have assuredly denied them thanks to Sarah's friends. And we receive an amulet of power for that. Okay. Uh, restore. No, we went this one right here. Oh, we just did a resources thing. Uh, we got some bloodstone and we got our Legion Throne Accessory 1, whatever that is. And we'll go over here to Ferelden. Getting a judge's favor, Inquisitor Judge Ald has signed the papers we need to present the Du Paraquettes as nobility again. There is now only one step left. A royal minister must ratify them. Please come see me when you have the chance. The judge passes on his compliments, by the way. Apparently the hunt was a marvelous bit of sport, and our soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infirmary reassures me the injured will make a full recovery. Josephine. Rewards received. Well, we don't know what those are. Um, gather coin. So I'm just kind of looking around here to see what uh, other things are available for us to do. So all this stuff opened up. Gather leather. Gather cloth. Deal with Lord Basile Maron. What is, who's he and what does he have to do with anything? Dearest Josephine. Do you recall the last letter I sent about the new volunteers who have reported to Sullivan Keep to help with our efforts? Lady Doucette, daughter of Lord Basile Marin, was one of them. We were unaware of her real identity because she came to us disguised as a villager. Unfortunately, Lord Basile has just now discovered the whereabouts of his missing daughter and has accused the Inquisition of kidnapping her. Lord Basile's colorful slander of the Inquisition has cast a shadow on our relations with wealthy Southern Orlesian society. Complicating matters, Lady Doucette refuses to return to her father and the gilded cage of a gentlewoman. 
I can't very well tie her up and deliver her to the Lord in a barrel, can I? Sincerely, Edward. Hmm. She says Lady Doucette should follow her heart. Lord Basile is a minor noble and his favor is not worth courting. I can trick him into a social into social ruin. Once he is torn down, he may rant, but no one will listen. And Colin says, <laughs> why can't we? We don't have to literally put her in a barrel, but let Lady Doucette know in no uncertain terms that she is no longer welcome in the Inquisition. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do this one. At your service. And assigning Michelle to Chevin. Oh, okay, there's Michelle. Let's see what we could give him to do. Michelle de Chavin, Celine's disgraced champion, has joined the Inquisition. He is an honorable man, but a casualty of Orlais brutal politics and prejudices. Find him a place in the organization where he will feel at home. Uh, let's see. Josephine would have said, Michelle has been exiled from the Imperial Court, which means he's well aware of the pitfalls of the game. We have noble allies who could benefit, benefit from an advisor with such expertise, and I could always use more liaisons to Southern Orlais. Leliana says, Michelle can do little for me in Valroyo's Halls of Power, but he knows about the Illuvians controlled by the Elves of Orlais. I'll have him working with Solus and our scholars to discover all we can of those mirrors. Alright. Cullen says, Michelle was once a renowned Chevalier. He even bested Grand Duke Gaspard in a single combat. I could use an officer with that kind of experience. Well, take it. All right. Now we need something for Leliana to do. And I don't really want to do one of these resources things, but it looks like... Here we go. Judgment. Help the people of Sarnia. Ah, Mistress Poulin has been sentenced to provide relief to the people of Sarnia who suffered because of her alliance with the Red Templars. She has purchased supplies for the town, but is having difficulty moving them up the river. She has asked the Inquisition for aid. Josephine would have said, or Legion guilds rely on this quarry. I will appeal to their business sense and they will lend us boats to move the supplies upriver. Liliana says, I could divert some of our couriers there. Better this relief arrive in bits and pieces than not at all. And he says, we could hire a brace of wagons and send guards to transport the supplies up Sarnia to be slower but safer. So slow and safe. Um, this sounds like the best one to do to me, so... I'm not going to send Leliana on that one. This one up here, a trouble of Red Jenny, so okay. I will never understand how they function with the same name. A memo from Leliana written on a letter from Sarah. Sometimes we trade off baddies. Some knob learns your tricks. Message another Red Jenny. Now you're twice as hard to catch. Looks like magic, except no demons, and no magic, I suppose. Anyway, the caravan, caravan we took over, there's two leads on that from two other Jennies, good ones too, Sarah. Simple sketches of the other red Jennies and their location is scribble below. Their mustaches seem improbable. Navara, Johi, Tanterville, Charade, whatever. Liliana, funded from Tanterville, they may be open to an alliance after the trouble in Kirkwall. I don't know. I don't understand all this stuff. All right, they're all busy, so that's good. Okay, <clears throat> um, Inquisitor's Path, uh, well we have these things, I mean I guess I'm so bothered that the one that I'm interested in is the one that I don't have ready, I don't know where these Assassin Guild Leader tokens are, and when I select this and then look at the map, it doesn't tell me where they are, so I have no idea where these things are that I'm supposed to pick up, uh, so that kind of sucks. Um, but, I mean, I guess I could go talk to these guys, although I really would rather wait until I have this one done. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here lies the abyss. Varric has a friend named Hawk who fought Corypheus once before and now fears gray wardens are under the influence of the ancient darkspawn. Hawk has a warden contact who may be able to say more. Meet Hawk's warden ally in Crestwood. Let's do that. Uh, first, I am going to run out to my little garden since we're here, and, um, pick some, uh, elf roots, just to have some stocked up. Inquisitor, 
Uh-huh. Elf root. Okay. Get that elf root. Get this elf root. Get this blood lotus for bees. And then we've got more elf root over here. Okay. Elf root. And elf root. Okay, now we've got 12 elf root. That, that should be helpful. Alright. Uh, so, this crustwood is where we want to go. Yeah, let's go to crustwood. Yes. So we're going to take uh, Varric with us because it's his friend. We're going to take Blackwall with us because this concerns the Grey Wardens. And we will take... We'll take Solace with us. 